I'm Veronica Vance. Coming up, we have tons of fun while cruising the Detroit River in luxury. Check out our list of the Motor City's top 10 auto events, and then we visit an actual winery right here in the D's Clinton Township, so stay tuned. Production funding for this program was made possible by the Detroit Metro Convention and Visitors Bureau, driving tourism growth in Metro Detroit since 1896. More information is available at visitdetroit.com. I'm here along the beautiful Detroit River at the Port Detroit. I've got Canada just over there. But what we're here for is this beauty behind me. It's the Ovation Yacht, and we are going to take one of their cruises. Just got on board, and when you get on board, they've got the food hot and ready and waiting for you. It's replenished throughout the evening. They've got the music playing, and the fun is just starting. Tonight's our urban country theme, and we've got about 300 guests coming on that are from all over Detroit, people in from out of town where corporations buy tickets for their guests. They want them to experience the Detroit River. It's an international waterway, so a lot of people can't fathom that there's a whole other country right there across the river. Yeah, so, How long does a cruise typically It's about last? a three and a half hour cruise. So, and then we've got some dockside time, so and it's, it's a great time. A lot of people actually come and stay at the Marriott here because they just want to make an evening of it. And, uh, you know, it's a nice Wednesday night and uh, got the babysitters and yeah. they're good to go. A lot of people, when they first arrive, they hang out at the Port Authority. We um, actually took over the marketing and the food service piece. So we're doing a lot of daytime meetings and seminars and then evening cruises with the larger groups afterwards. Oh. So it's a perfect marriage. We are getting ready to take off and I'll catch up with you in a little bit. Sure. I'm going to kind of mingle fun. around. All right, okay, thanks, Stephen. Welcome Steven. aboard. <laughs> Three floors here. This is the first. They've got the DJ at this end. Second floor, more food, a bar, and outdoor seating. Follow me. And the third floor. We've got another premium bar up here, and this is where the band and the dancing all happen. So you can come out on the bow. It's nice and soothing out here. It's a smooth ride. You can see the river walk all along there. You've got the carousel coming up and you wave at the people because everybody always loves to wave at the boat. Well, I am impressed. You guys put out like such an impressive spread. It's like high-end restaurant quality food you're serving. It's nice. All of our food is prepared and cooked right on board. It's fresh out of the ovens. Uh, it's not brought in in hot boxes. So we really focus on the food service. Some really unique cheeses here. Some mango stilton and some sage darbies. And we try to theme all of our food service out with basically the theme of the event so that we're not serving the same thing. And it's always fresh knowing that we've got a lot of people that continually come on board these yeah. events. So right. Over here is one of the meat stations. This is our Detroit's own shorts beer batter chicken breast. And it's oh. paired with a Southern Comfort honey mustard. I'm not going to double dip. This is De <laughs> beer, Detroit's beer batter. Mm. Shorts beer, which is a Detroit brewed beer. Oh, that's nice. Thanks. Kind of like an um, upscale fried chicken, which you kind of associate with the country music. Yep. It all ties in. I love how you're doing that. Mm -hmm. And then the beef. <laughs> We've got our Jack Daniels barbecued short ribs, especially prepared for tonight's urban Sounds country nice. cruise. Trying to. Oh, that's a nice sauce on it. Mm. Very tender, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Very tender. That's yummy. Falls apart. Oh, okay. I'm gonna eat all, I'm gonna eat all of this. Mm. You know, you've got these wonderful bars. You've got premium, premium cash bars, right? That's uh, premium open bar. Open so bar. All our ticket oh, okay. sales include an open premium bar. Wow. Okay. So. And so then up on the third level, that's always where the live entertainment is, the dancing. And, yep. Right? Exactly. We try to theme it out so that the band is upstairs. So we've got Brian Lorente and the usual suspects upstairs. Then oh. we've got a DJ downstairs for those that want to get a little bit more of an urban, you know, dance going. So uh, it's kind of cool. Different atmospheres on each level. This is your first time first on time, board, and time. I understand it was a birthday gift. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I mean, it's just another way that you're able to experience downtown Detroit, get a different view, get out on the water. It's yeah. a great time. It's not what I expected. It's so pretty. Everything is gorgeous. It's really nice to see. So after the sun sets, if you come back out here to the bow, we're heading back towards downtown, and the view gets even prettier as the lights come on. I mean, just look at that. 
Isn't that a gorgeous skyline? Detroit, Michigan, what do you say? It's a beautiful night here in Detroit, Michigan. Everybody's out here having a good time. We're rocking out. Perfect. Perfect. What do you think about Detroit? I love Detroit, man. Yeah. Um, all my family grew up here, okay. so I, I love coming back. Yeah. Every time we come back, there's, there's just an awesome vibe. We were just out at Ford Field for the Chesney concert last weekend yeah. here again. And every time we come here, everybody's ready to have a good time. So I love to come back as, as often as possible. Well, we want you back as often as possible. I want to be back. <laughs> all right, thanks. Thanks, Get back. <laughs> We've got dessert, too. Oh, my goodness. A girl after my own heart. <laughs> sea salt. Sweet and salty. Yum. My yeah, favorite right. combination. <laughs> the cold ice cream with the caramel and then the hot Sanders hot fudge, another Michigan thing. You've got the sweet ice cream, the salt. All going to make one terrific bite. Mm. Oh, and the... Oh, that's fun. I get to actually steer the boat for a minute. <laughs> now, what happens if I rock the boat? Don't rock the boat, baby. <laughs> well, thanks for letting me come aboard, Captain Randy, and I'll give you back your beauty of a hat. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. So this is just like, it has been unbelievable. I would do this again in a minute. What did you guys think about the food? I was so impressed. It's delicious. Excellent. The presentation. Yes, they do a great job. Yeah. Great staff is awesome. Yeah. So I understand you guys got married aboard the ovation. We did, two years ago. So how was it having a wedding on here? I bet it's wonderful. It's awesome. It was awesome. It was great. We were looking for something to, different other than uh, the traditional golf course venue, and we uh, found the ovation, and it was uh, the best experience that we could ever think of. Our guests enjoyed it, and uh, we still hear to this day how fun people had on our wedding. I want to thank you so much. Everybody rolled out the red carpet. It was a great night. You're very welcome. Thanks for coming. And as one passenger put it, this is really a Detroit wow. And what a better way to spend a summer evening than cruising the river aboard the Ovation Yacht. got a top 10 list of Detroit auto events and places of fun that we highly recommend. Now, this list isn't in any order of importance, nor is it a complete list of all the auto events in the D. For that, we would need a top 50 list. But we're the Motor City, and there's nowhere else you can find as much auto-related activities than in the D. Coming up first in our list is the Woodward Dream Cruise. The Woodward Dream Cruise is the world's largest celebration of classic car culture. The event attracts over 1 million visitors and more than 40,000 muscle cars, street rods, custom collector and special interest vehicles. It takes place each year on the third Saturday in August. Finding a spot to watch is not hard since the Dream Cruise takes place along a 16 mile stretch of Woodward Avenue. And best of all, there are no fees to drive in the Dream Cruise, watch the cruise, or check out any of the on-street festivities. This is one car event you don't want to miss, but how about an all summer long car event? Autopalooza is a celebration of Southeast Michigan's auto heritage. During weekends, in the summer, you'll find a whole series of major cruises, races, and shows every weekend. We've got the NASCAR weekend out at the Michigan International Speedway in Brooklyn. The Motor Muster event at Greenfield Village is one of the best places to see a car show, with some of the most unique vehicles from all across the country. The preeminent car show is the Concourse d'Elegance, which takes place on the grounds of Meadowbrook Hall. The finest vehicles ever built are on display. It's truly an amazing show. Other cruises include the Down River, Gratiot, and Michigan Avenue cruises. Autopalooza is, without doubt, the most unique and longest running series of car events in the country. Now, on to number three, the Henry Ford. 
This is obviously not an event, but it's one of the greatest history attractions in the country, which you can visit all year long. Their collection is a kaleidoscope of a variety of cars important in the evolution of the automotive industry and culture in America and across the world, and the automobile's influence on American life throughout the 20th century. Plus, you won't want to miss the Ford Rouge Factory Tour. This outstanding tour includes a driving tour of historic auto-related landmarks and behind the scenes of the Rouge Complex. Clearly, this is a one-of-a-kind experience found only in the D. Which brings me to our next automotive experience found only in the D, the Walter P. Chrysler Museum, number four on our list. Any time of year is ideal to visit, but it's extra special during the Christmas season. The cars, trees, and traditions display will take you down memory lane through this immense 55,000 square foot facility. You'll find three stories of more than 65 antique custom and concept vehicles interspersed with interactive displays and historical exhibits that tell the story of the automaker's contributions to automotive design, technology, and innovation. Don't worry if you get a little tired covering so much ground. You can always take a break at the movie theater and gift shop. Now, moving on to number five is a look at GM Next. In downtown Detroit at the GM headquarters, you'll find GM Next. Thousands of local, national, and international visitors enjoy this eclectic 45,000 square foot display of GM vehicles and specialty cars. You don't have to be a guest at the hotel or conducting business in the rents end to check it out. It's a destination all on its own. And at number six is the Automotive Hall of Fame. Located in Dearborn, the Auto is a facility unlike any other in that it is both a visitor attraction and an educational resource for inspiring others to higher levels of achievement in their own work and lives. With a collection of cars, artifacts, displays, and decades of innovation and interactive exhibits, the entire history of automobile history comes alive. The stories of early industry entrepreneurs and their struggles are seen. Many firsts in the industry are highlighted, as well as the future of the industry in America and across the globe. Up now is number seven, the big daddy of auto shows, the North American International Auto Show. As far as auto shows go, this is it, the big one, right here in the D. This world-class event attracts thousands of top media outlets, industry executives, politicians, entertainers, all the who's who, along with car enthusiasts from around the world who gravitate to the one place where they can get up close and personal to the new exciting product line debuts and concept vehicles. Which leads us to number eight and yet another brilliant auto show, the Autorama. This annual event showcases hot rods from across the country and owners come to town hoping to take home the prestigious Riddler Award. Competing vehicles are being seen for the first time and as the competition progresses, the cream of the crop emerge to the final eight. From these contenders, one walks away with the award. You can watch the competition unfold as you take in all the other vehicles spread out all over Cobo Center. The Paquette plant is number nine on our list. Step back in time to the very beginning of Ford Motor Company at the Paquette plant and the birthplace of the Model T. This three-story brick building is where Henry Ford created and built the first 12,000 Model Ts. Henry Ford's office space is marked off on the floor and an exact replica of his wooden desk and wastebasket define the space. Walking those old floors is an experience all on its own and you can just about see the cars making their way down the line. So now we're up to number 10, a little different type of auto cruise, the Hot Rod Magazine Power Tour. The Hot Rod Power Magazine Tour is easily considered one of the best automotive tours in the world, and it's what Hot Rod Magazine is all about. This seven-day, seven-city tour takes place every year, and you can often find it rolling through Detroit in June. When it's here, the tour not only is a parade of incredible cars which have crisscrossed the country, but here in Detroit, you'll get double the fun with loads of entertainment, food, and the history of auto life in the D. 
So, that's our top 10 list of auto events and places in the D. Now, like I said, make no mistake, there are even more auto places and events to be found in the D. But it's just not possible to include them all here. However, I think these 10 give a good indication of where to start your engines in the D. Let's ride. Let's ride. Plenty of things to see and do in Metro Detroit this month, and our calendar of events is up next to point you in the right direction. Head to Shane Park for the funky and unique Universe Soul Circus, and Plymouth welcomes Autumn with their Fall Festival. Visit downtown Rochester's Art and Apples Festival, and enjoy food, music, and more at Dally in the Alley. Northville's Victoria revives the romance of the 1800s, and WWE broadcasts their Night of Champions from the Joe. Catch Detroit's creative side around town at the Design Festival, and see the Outdoor Boat Festival at Lake St. Clair Metro Park. Detroit Restaurant Week offers discount dining, and the Family Reunion Planning Seminar offers free help. Keep your bikes out for the Tour Detroit ride, then cruise with Old Blue Eyes aboard the Ovation Yacht. Learn about astronomy and go stargazing at the beach. And CMA Entertainer of the Year performs at the Palace. To learn of any changes, log on to visitdetroit.com or call 1-800-DETROIT. I'm in Clinton Township at the Filippo Mark Winery, where owners Gerard and Tressa scour the globe for everything wine-related. And it pays off because when you walk through the door, you feel like you're transported right into Italy itself. Okay, wine novice, wine diva, they've got you covered. They've got all kinds of really neat accessories. This is a wine bottle holder, stiletto red peel. How cute. Beautiful wine glass coasters. Just every little nook and cranny has something really unique. They also have a large variety of hand-painted accessories, all done by local artists. And then, what really fooled me, behind me, perfect for your boat, bikers, this is plastic. Can you believe it? They've got beautiful ones over here. They've got these are etched plastic. If you don't want to take your glassware outside, your nice crystal outside, I was fooled. Okay, even wine and clothing. And of course, very exquisitely done. So, Gerard, tell me a little bit about Filippo Mark Winery. I mean, it's just beautiful when you walk into the place. Well, thanks for uh, mentioning that. Uh, we're a uh, bonded winery. We get all the grapes shipped in from all over the world, mm -hmm. and we blend, ferment, and process here. 
and we're really big on education, so people should feel very comfortable when they come in to visit our location. We want everybody to know that everybody starts off equal here, yeah. and uh, it's okay to not know everything. Mm -hmm. All I want to know is, are you interested in learning about wine, and are you interested in getting into wine, and after that, the world gets easier. The world gets easier. And That's then right. you, I see behind you, you've just got, are these mm -hmm. all different flavors? Are these yes, now this is what we call our fruited wine uh, wall here. Fruited wine. All okay. of our oh, wines yeah. are based with grape first. Mm -hmm. For instance, we make a Riesling, a Merlot, a Cabernet, but then we add in pureed fruit in the third stage to give it a natural sweetness. They're a little lighter in alcohol, so this isn't mm -hmm. serious wine. This is mm -hmm. more of what we call just kick back and enjoy. And these are beautifully arranged. These are all mm -hmm. of your more traditional wines that yes. are your non-fruit? We've got it set up where the lightest and semi-sweet wines are there in the white category, and they're driest and heaviest as you come to this end. Oh, then nice. the same thing in the red category, our lightest and sort of semi-sweet, if you will, mm -hmm. and then they go farther into the more complex and heavier reds. And then on this end here, we have more of what we call our premiums. We only have a few wines that are above the uh, $12 range, and that's what these are. And then you're also, you also um, make these labels when people yes. come in. That's another aspect. we have the ability to make aspect. a custom label, uh, whether it's an individual bottle for somebody that wants to just say thank you, or for a wedding, or a special occasion, uh, or we do multiples for larger events like the wedding itself. So when you have the wine tastings, it happens right here in this cozy little mm -hmm. environment? Yeah, the idea was is we wanted to feel kind of like you were in your Tuscan villa and we were going to have a party out in the garden. This room can be expanded to accommodate up to 30 people. Also, when somebody walks in at any time, they can just come back here and these sample some of your wines. They may. We allow them That's to sample any three selections of mm -hmm. the wines that we have. Mm -hmm. So what we're really gaining is client confidence in our product. Yeah, because you have what? 80, over 80? Over 80 selections of wine. We're pretty much going to find something that can work for very, you. Very, very tailored to everybody's taste. Okay, so this is our blending room. This is where we keep all of our tanks, and they range from what is called a 50 liter tank down here. These are our 300 liter vats, and we do have a couple of larger vats, 500 liter. We're producing almost 9,000 bottles of wine. The beauty of the stainless steel is that we have the uh, flexibility that I can make a dessert wine, and then the next time around I might make a Riesling or one of our fruited specialty wines, mm -hmm. but we won't get any residual flavor from the last batches that would get into the next wine and change its flavor and, and style. Now I had a little pre-hand understanding that you like Pinot Noir. Yes. Well, I just happen to have one that I opened. I like it. What is it? This is a, Pinot Noir is the name of the grape, and there's also Pinot Grigio. That's the, the white. white. So I'm going to pour this one for you. Okay. And we're going to start you off with just a small amount. The first thing that you're going to notice is its color, mm -hmm. okay? And the best way to see the color is to look through it from the angle, okay? If you can't see through it at all, it's a very full-bodied wine, but if it's pretty clear, then it's a relatively light-bodied wine. Okay. Okay? Then you're going to take the glass and just give it a little spin. When you spin red wines, especially, mm -hmm. it aerates the wine and the fumes are going to rise in the glass. Breathe it in. And you really do train your sense of smell to be very acute nice. and you're going to get a lot more of the experience out of the wine. You go, I did notice that cherry or that apple. Now when you taste the wine, nice. I want you to just take a small sip, Okay. sip mm -hmm. and hold. Now just open your mouth a little bit and breathe over it. Swallow and then exhale. Hmm. Can you get all of that experience? I mean, where yeah. it fills your mouth yeah. and you get a lot more out of it. Mm -hmm. But this is where we did a full analysis to better understand how good am I going to like this with my, with my meal. Well, Gerard, thank you so much. I have learned so much information today. It was today. a pleasure. <laughs> Welcome. Yeah, and whether you are a novice or an expert, if you come to a wine tasting at Filippo Mark Winery in Clinton Township, I can guarantee you're going to learn something too because this man really knows his wine. So
Cause everywhere you look and everything you see A conscience so complete, a heritage so deep And no one can resist when Smokey sings And so in letting you know Now get ready to go It's all happening here What's new in the Well, that's our show. Thanks for watching. I'm Veronica Vance. And remember, if you'd like more information on any of the places we visited, log on to visitdetroit.com. So until I see you next time, go out and explore on your own and discover the D. To learn about discounts and special offers for featured attractions, plus how to get copies of Visit Detroit magazine, click on visitdetroit.com. Production funding for this program was made possible by the Detroit Metro Convention and Visitors Bureau, driving tourism growth in Metro Detroit since 1896. More information is available at visitdetroit.com.